at at home crypto I just showed you how to connect your power button the off phone and there's two of these in, or a link to these in the uh, description you buy them in packs of two which is good you hope to expand your mining rig so I'm gonna click push the power button okay, as it comes up we want to hit F11 there now you have different drives you can boot to Windows Boot Manager, you know, because it's Windows on there. If we had different versions, you should also see that's the drive itself, and if I had a USB in right now, um, but we'll get to that later. There, but you want to hit Tab and go to Configuration. Looky, looky, this motherboard has this AS Rock UEFI setup utility. People call it like UEFI BIOS. Uh, same thing. But here, so we need to loosen. Always wear your bracelet. There, I'm cheesy like that. There. And all of these different settings you can set in the BIOS. So now we're at the main. There, it tells us our version. Look at that, the BTC R2 of the motherboard. So it doesn't matter what. Look at that, it reads that 3.60 gigahertz. Look at all of this. This is absolutely correct. Look at how much memory we have. It knows the amount of memory. It tells you right here, DDR3, these are the slots. So we're actually a little bit over um, for the 16 gigs. That's what it's telling us. It's actually reading that. That's our main area. Then we have a QC tweaker. Um, this is, you don't really need to do much here. This is your multi-core enhancement. This is uh, under QC uh, tweaker. Like it says, CPU configuration. You can go in. I really, unless you are familiar with it, you can uh, go in and uh, you know make changes here. I wouldn't really recommend it. This performs the highest frequency on all CPU core at the same time. This one we probably can multi-core enhancement um, because we are again going to be using our i7 for the VR, and this just allows you to use some. All of them, it probably will anyway, especially with Windows. But by setting it in the BIOS, you have a lot of default settings. That's why it's good to set things in the BIOS um, so that just within Windows or whatever OS you're using, they're automatically there, what you prefer. There. And I wouldn't go through each of the descriptions or each what item you see here, only the relevant ones. Most of them do come auto enabled. There, see. And keep going down. Look at all these, that's just the second area that we were able to go to. Again, showing our memory. There. Different things you can set for your CPU, the virtual core. And again, trust the default settings 99% of the time. Okay, especially notice what we have down here for our voltage and our wattage. Okay, so other than the first, there, let's go back up. Other than that first setting under the QC tweaker, we did not change anything. Um, we're going to keep going over to our right so that now we're under the advanced area. There, we have CPU configuration. There, different things you can set again. Notice the hyper threading, of course, is enabled. Look at the processor cores we have there. This is a nice in Intel processor. There. So there's nothing there we need to really change. Um, package C would have to do with like the sleep mode, I think. So that was our advanced setting. We're going to go back. Okay. Notice. Okay. Advanced configuration. Let's go back to that whole menu we had. Chipset configuration. Don't really make changes in there. Primary graphics adapter. There. Look, I want to show you this. This is important. Under the advanced section the chipset configuration if we're adding all of these different PCI cards like for these GPUs you don't really want to use your monitor to connect to that you can use the onboard monitor and use this cheap um, monitor like you, you know you have because eventually you're going to unplug the monitor and use VNC or remote desktop into this you don't need a monitor and keyboard on it all the time so change that setting under advanced and then advanced chipset configuration, change primary graphics adapter. It's going to recognize when you have the PCI Express GPU in there. 
Okay, so that may default to that. If you notice that your monitor is not working, <clears throat> plug it into your GPU or get into this setting, this area. You need to change it to on board so that that's always the default setting. And select a primary VGA. That's the reason why you can use these older ones. These GPUs, these graphics cards, let's just call them that. Basically, that's why it sees it as that. Um, you know, because you would normally have a monitor in there. It doesn't support VGA monitor. You have to have a you know, a few different kinds. I think it's DVI. It says on the side of it, but it's a monitor. We don't really care. Again, because we're going to use, and I'll show you how to do this remote desktop. Okay, this is about the Intel virtual machine stuff. Uh, we're not going to be using that. It's more of like a test environment if you wanted that, or we would use Windows virtual machine, which I probably will end up showing y'all since we're going to do some different things on these and do different mining. They're deep sleep. We don't care about We don't want it to go to sleep. Restore on AC power loss. Yeah, we could turn this on. I really, I'm not a fan of it, honestly. Uh, just because, uh, you know, I've got my system well enough. And if there was a fire or something, I just would prefer it not to even come on. Yeah. But I would be here normally if I was on vacation. I may turn that on. Different information about the storage. The hard drives is when you see storage configuration. That's your hard drives, like your SSD. There, look how many SSD. Remember SATA's, SATA three. There. All right now we have just the one. Um, I do have a larger one. I was going to show you all how to connect to Intel Smart Connect. I'm not a fan of this connect to emails, like kind of like SNMP or SIP alerts. You know, that's what that's doing, but. I'm not a fan of that. Don't give people your email address. That's what it was wanting to do, alert you if uh, there's a system down on the Intel or this motherboard. Yeah, give them your email and they'll email you. This is another settings, the IO configuration, not one you want to make changes to, okay, unless you really know what you're doing. This is just a mining rig, so these aren't things you would need to change in that area. Ring on. You aren't even going to use this. Leave that disabled. And if we wanted a USB, and I'm more of a, I didn't want to use USB for this. I used PS2. I had to find them, but that allows you to turn them, the this on if you wanted to with a USB uh, keyboard or mouse. But I'm not going to use a USB, so it doesn't matter. Turn it off. That's the default. Is off there. Smart Auto for your USB 3s. It'll automatically tell which ones and USB, I believe, or blue, the USB 3. Make sure you support that, no reason to change, and the compatibility.